There are so many different beauty products on the market these days, it's really hard to decide which ones can really stand the test of time. So I decided to look at all the beauty products that I use and the ones that I go back to and share the beauty products I've been using for the past decade. So I'm gonna start with makeup products because I'd say the bulk of these items are definitely makeup. And I'd say that's because skincare has really gone through a major transformation over the past decade. So what I really liked a decade ago has drastically changed today. So I do have a couple of skincare products, but really it's all about the makeup products. I'm gonna start with the product I've been using the absolute longest and it's actually been longer than a decade. It's been decades for this one and it is by L'Oreal. It is their Voluminous Original Mascara. I distinctly remember using this mascara in high school. That is how long I have been using this and it has been in my rotation. And the reason why I distinctly remember that is because one of the girls I went to high school with, I remember saying to her, oh, what mascara are you using? And she was like, it's voluminous. And for the longest time, I thought it was called voluminous. So I would call this voluminous in high school. And I think a lot of my friends would too because it just got around that this was called voluminous. And this was a mascara that we were always using. And I found myself going back to this. When I was in college, I would buy this. When I was in my 20s, I would buy this. Even now as an adult, I'm still buying this, it's still in my makeup kit. And that's because it's a really solid mascara and it's a really good price. It's like $8.99 for a tube. I feel like it was even cheaper back when I first started using it in high school, it must have been. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. Believe it or not, in high school, I was wearing the like burgundy color. That was actually what really sold me on it because everyone wore burgundy mascara, just so you know. So I remember distinctly using the burgundy uh, voluminous, voluminous, voluminous mascara from L'Oreal. And then now I use it because I like their brown black formula because it looks a little bit less severe when I'm trying to go for more of a natural look. So this is a brown black formula and it's still really dark, but just again, it looks more natural when you're trying to do that. And I tend to use that more on my bottom lashes. The next product I've probably used the longest is from YSL. It is their Rouge Voluptuous Shine Lipstick. I talk about this lipstick all the time. I'm always wearing this lipstick. It kind of had a resurgence, I feel like, this past year, especially because they launched all new colors, a lot of like reds and burgundy type of colors. But I started wearing this when I was in my 20s. And again, I have very distinct memories of this lipstick because of the fragrance of it. And also this was like probably the most expensive makeup product I had ever purchased at that time. So this was like my luxury item item in my 20s. This lipstick is a beautiful formulation. I, to this day, think this is one of the best lipstick formulas out there. It's nourishing to your lips. It gives you a beautiful color. It feels like it's luxurious because of the packaging. Back in my 20s, I used to wear more of the bold, bright pink colors. Now I tend to go with these, you know, like this color is number 44. It's more of like a light nude pink kind of tone to it, but I still love these lipsticks and I think they are so beautiful. They are really distinct in that fragrance. They say it's like a mango, a mango fragrance. It's like nothing else that's ever been out there. It really, I mean, it's very, very distinct to me and it's a lipstick that I will continue purchasing probably long into the future too. The next one is also by YSL. It is their Touche Clot Brightening Concealer Pen. Around the same time that I purchased the lipstick, I purchased this. And that's because this was the product that made me go to the YSL counter in the first place. This product used to be so unbelievably popular. I'm sure it still is to this day. And the reason for that is because it's just a really cool concept. It's a concealer pen. It gives just enough coverage for people who don't really wear a lot of makeup. So if you want to use it as a concealer, you definitely can. It's not going to cover your pimples or really dark spots on your skin, but if you just need to to, you know, like brighten up areas or if you have like a little bit of redness, this is a really easy product to use. And I think because it has the little brush at the tip, people also love the way it applies to the skin. But the reason why it's so great is because it's a really nice luminizer. It helps to brighten little parts of your face. When you learn to truly use it the way it's supposed to be used, it can be a game changer for your face. And it's all about learning the different shadows where you want to have like brightness and shadows on your face. So it takes a little bit of practice to use this, but it does change everything. I tried to show on an Instagram reel the way that I use it. It's when all of my makeup is done, I will go in one more time with this. I'll just kind of brighten up this area under my eyes, around my nose, and it 
just gives a little bit of a lift. That's what it is. That brightness lifts your face and gives you just an overall more youthful appearance. This is $38, so it's not like the most overpriced item considering that it is YSL. And when I bought this for the very first time, I wanna say that it was so popular that they had some kind of a stat that it sold like every three seconds or something. It was some really wild stat. It might've been even like one sells every second or something. It's, it was like something wild because it used to be so popular. Again, I don't know how popular it is now. There are just so many more options and dupes for it, but this is the OG and it is still a really good one. Another product that I've been using for about a decade, if not longer, is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I just ran out of this product because I use it so often, but I talk about it all the time. This is essentially a foundation, but it has so many more benefits to it. It has a lot of skincare benefits to it. It's an SPF 50, it is full coverage, and it has been one of my favorite foundation CC cream type products for the longest time. You know, the formula hasn't changed too dramatically over the years. Even though IT Cosmetics has gone through a lot of changes over the past decade and even been acquired by a much larger corporation, this formula still stands the test of time. It is still one of my favorite products of all time. If anything, they just expanded the range of colors slightly. I still think that they could add a lot more colors to the range, but it is absolutely one of the best products I have ever used and I have been using it for over a decade. Another product I've been using for over a decade and I talk about constantly, just all the time, is this one from Armani. This is the Luminous Silk Foundation. This is my favorite foundation. I do talk about this all the time. I always go for this foundation. I constantly buy it because it really does make my skin look flawless. It is so beautiful and so pretty on the skin. I just love that it lets my skin breathe. You can see my skin through it. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a heavy, thick makeup on my skin. It feels nice and light. It really does give you a beautiful natural finish. And it comes in a wide variety of shades. There are 40 different shades and it's about $64 for a bottle. I'm usually not using like a real foundation like this on a daily basis. Most of the time I'm using like my CC creams or my tinted sunscreens, but on the days that I really need to do a full glam or do my makeup, this is the foundation that I reach for the absolute most. All right, so this next product is just about a decade. I'm actually pushing it by putting it in this video, but I've been using it for about like eight, nine years, and that is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This, you know, has been a staple in my makeup routine. I talk about it all the time. My makeup artist Nikki uses this on me all the time. It is a solid concealer. It has that just right consistency that I'm looking for. It gives just enough coverage. It's great underneath my eyes. It brightens a little bit. This is just an all around great concealer. I go through through tubes of this, or what would this be called? I go through sticks of this <laughs> several times a year because it is such a good concealer. The colors that I go between are custard, macadamia, and sometimes honey, depending on what it is that we're trying to achieve with the concealer, but it also can be if I'm using like self tanner or something, but I tend to always have custard in my makeup kit, just at all times. If you haven't tried it, it's about $30 for this and it comes in 30 different shades. Another makeup product that has been around and in my rotation for years and years and years, and actually I would say is my go-to setting powder. It is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It comes in three radiant shades and three matte shades. I use the translucent. It's the one that's been in the rotation for me for years and years. I can't really tell you why, this has been my go-to powder for so long. I have tried lots of different powders and I actually like lots of different powders, but I always go back to this one. And I was asking Nikki, my makeup artist this morning, I was like, why is it that we love the Laura Mercier so much? And she really couldn't name it either. We were just like, you know what you're getting with this. It serves the exact purpose that you want it to. It doesn't give you any flashback if you like are on camera and under lights. It doesn't make you look like you are too dried out and crusty. It doesn't change the color of your makeup. It just does what you want it to do. It blurs your skin and smooths it. It sets your makeup. It stops any shine that you need, but it doesn't make you look too matte. It just gives you that perfect radiance to your skin that you need if you are setting your makeup. This is my go-to setting powder. I don't know if that will ever change, but right now and for the past decade, it has been this one. Last of the makeup products is not exactly a makeup product, but more of a makeup tool, and it is the Beauty Blender. Beauty Blenders have been around for a very long time, and there was a time where there was only this size and in that pink color, that hot pink color. I remember when Beauty Blender first launched, everybody was like, this is genius. 
It is the most genius makeup item to ever launch. And it's kind of funny to think back now that we were like, this little sponge is so revolutionary, but it really was. There wasn't anything like it on the market yet. There were just the typical sponges that you get at a drugstore or a beauty supply store, and they were great. They would like fall apart. They would soak up all of your makeup. And it took a makeup artist to create this. And this has really been a big game changer. Most makeup artists will have one of these in their makeup kit. And that's because it just has so many functions in your makeup kit. You can apply your foundation with it. You can set your foundation with it. You can apply powders. Obviously there are now different sizes of it. You can use it for your skincare. You know, for the longest time, everybody thought this was like, super, super antimicrobial and antibacterial and wasn't gonna spread germs as long as you washed it. I think we've now like learned that that's not true. And I guess it makes a lot of sense too, but that was also like sold on everybody that this doesn't contaminate basically and it's not gonna spread germs, but it kinda, it can, it can. And that's the reason why you need to toss it eventually. This has been a product that I have used for so long and I continue to use it. And it's because it just really is. It's such a great makeup tool. Moving on to skincare, the one skincare item that I really think stands the test of time and still emerges as the number one of this category is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. I have been using this forever. I remember doing a campaign with a bunch of dermatologists when I was a beauty editor and this was the focus, but this has been around even longer than that. This was the focus of that campaign and SkinCeuticals was really trying to get that message out that you use a vitamin C like this to really help boost the effects of your sunscreen, that you use this with your sunscreen because that is going to protect your skin the most. And there was this whole campaign that we worked on around skin cancer and just educating people on the need to protect their skin, wearing their sunscreen, going to the dermatologist to get your skin checks every year. It was just this whole educational campaign that we worked on and it stuck with me that entire time. But this was probably one of the first products that a dermatologist actually recommended to me when I was in the office. And you'll never forget using CE Ferulic for the first time because it smelled so terrible. It has that hot dog water scent, which we all now know is due to ferulic acid. It's ferulic acid that gives it that charcoal, like barbecue hot dog smell that everybody has come to know. The reason why this product stands the test of time is because this is like the OG of the vitamin C serums. This is the one that really set the tone for everybody. This one has the most clinical research behind it, the most data, it has the most patents around it, and it really has not been replicated. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care at all if someone says that they have a dupe for this, they don't. There is not a dupe for this. You are not going to replicate this. Timeless, whatever. That is not a dupe for this product. It might be okay. I don't think it's anywhere close to this. Just because it has the same ingredients in it does not mean that it is this product. Do I think it's overpriced? Definitely. $166 for a vitamin C serum. That's a lot to wrap your head around, especially if it's a product that you're using on a daily basis. But this one has not been matched. This is the OG of the vitamin C's. This has been around forever. I've been going back to this for over a decade and there are absolutely really great vitamin C serums out there, but this, when it comes to this specific type of vitamin C serum, this is the one. All right, this one is going to surprise people. It is by Mario Badescu. This is the drying lotion. It's $17. It's a really well-priced product and I think it does exactly what it's supposed to do. This is the first acne spot treatment that I ever purchased. I remember finding this in my 20s and I made the mistake of always shaking it up because it has these different layers in it. So my first thought was always that you have to shake it up and then you stick a Q-tip in it and then you apply the dots all over your face. And I think because there was like this look to it, it was almost fun to use at night as well. But it turns out the way that you're supposed to use it is you don't shake it up at all, you stick a Q-tip in, you dip it into the pink calamine lotion. That's also a mix of a little bit of sulfur. And then you pull it out through the solution that has salicylic acid in it. And then you apply it to your skin. I have been using this forever as my go-to spot treatment. And I think this is like by far still the best one out on the market. And to this day, I buy this as gifts for people. Whenever they're just starting to get into skincare and they complain about like little spots here and there, I buy them this because it's affordable. I know that they can go and buy this afterwards if they run out of this bottle and it's easy to use and fun to use. Spot treatments are kind of fun to use. It sucks that you've got a pimple, but you do have a fun little treatment in this little bottle right here. Last in the skincare category is more of a skincare tool and it is the New Face 
microcurrent device. I have been talking about this for a very long time as well. I love it so much that I put this in my Harper's Bazaar go to bed with me video. This is a device that I can get behind. I don't get behind too many skincare devices because I think they're either too expensive and don't do enough or just don't work in general. This I see constant results from. And I talk about this all the time too. I think a lot of these microcurrent devices serve the same purpose and I get the same type of results from. I just started off on this one and I go back to this one because it's just so straightforward to me. If you've never used a microcurrent device like this, it just helps to lift your face which to me is always really important. I kind of equate this to working out. When you're using it on a regular basis, you really do see a difference in your face. If you stop using it, you start to not see the changes. It goes away eventually. So you have to keep going just like you do if you're working out. You're not going to see those results if you stop working out. I think this is also just great if you want to treat yourself, if you want to you know, have a little bit of a massage for your face and get more circulation. This is a really great tool. And like I said, it's just easy to use. This is the Trinity. This is a full size device. It's $339, but you can also get the mini device, which is like $209. And I think it serves sort of the same purpose. This one just basically comes with different attachments to it. So if you want to start getting real pro, you can get this one. I tend to use the original attachment to it. So if that's all that you think you're going to do, then just get the mini if you want to, if you want to start off. And then last is my trusty L'Oreal Paris Elnet hairspray. I have been using this hairspray for so long, I actually can't even tell you how long ago it was that I started using this hairspray. Like I remember using this when I was in high school on dance team, I think. So I've been using this hairspray for a really long time. I always showed this bottle because there was like a PR campaign once that they sent out where they bedazzled it and then put my name on it. So I actually almost never use this actual can. It just kind of sits in my beauty closet. So I always pull this one out, but I have cans of this sitting around in like all of my bathrooms as like the hairspray that I use. Whenever people ask me for hairspray recommendations, I always say it's Elnet. They have different strengths and hold as well. But the reason why this one is great is not because it's so revolutionary, it's because it's easy to use, it holds your hair, and you can brush your hair afterwards without getting all those different flakes in your hair. And that's a big deal to me because sometimes you need that hold, but then you want to not have to wash your hair right after. So this is that really nice go-to hairspray. I think this hairspray set the tone for all of the other hairsprays we now have today because a lot of the hairsprays of yesteryear, like Aquanet, would be so strong, they'd be such stronghold hairspray that you would only be able to get one look out of your hairstyle. And then when you would try to brush it out, it would be like either hairbrushes stuck or you would have all these white flakes in your hair. So this is the hairspray that like really set the tone. Does it smell amazing? No. Does it work well? Absolutely. And it's also just a great value. One of these cans will last me for so long. I don't wear that much hairspray in my hair, especially when you're going for like a more natural hold to your look. You're not just using the whole can all over your head every single day. So you get this for like 12 bucks, it's 11 ounces and it does, it lasts forever. So those are beauty products that I've been using and loving for the past decade or even longer than that, as you saw. If there are any products that you've been using for the past decade or longer, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure there are more products. These were just the ones that really came to the top of my mind when I was thinking about this topic. If you have questions about any of these products, feel free to ask me. You can also find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you soon.